I'm at the Chinese theater for the most hyped movie of this year, Avatar, directed by visionary director James Cameron, for which Fox Studios spent over $400 million reportedly. Let's hope it will turn out to be the most amazing movie of this year with all that money that they spend on it. Let's look at my premiere coverage. A paraplegic marine dispatched to the planet Pandora on a unique mission becomes torn between following his orders and protecting the world he feels is his home. We're in the flux vortex. VFR from here on. What's VFR? Means you gotta see where you're going. Oh my god. <laughs> you should see your faces. James Cameron is in awe to all the nominations his movie has received. The, the timing of these nominations couldn't be better because we're coming out, obviously, day after tomorrow. And so it sort of asks people to think about the movie in a slightly different way than they might have just based on, on looking at the 30-second TV spots. Sigourney Weaver feels really honored to be on the cover of Life magazine. Now I've made it. You have made it. I've made it now. <laughs> I wish my parents were around to see on the cover. No, it's such. A, he's such a great photographer and we had so much fun. It's a nice record of all of our hijinks around the world. Sam Worthington hopes he did a good enough job in the movie for people to go want to see it. Well, you just hope you haven't screwed it up, to be honest. You know, all I can do is my job. And then we can't change the movie now, so you just have to hand it over and hopefully a 10-year-old kid walking past or a, a person that in this economy is willing to pay 16 bucks to go to this movie gets the adventure of a lifetime. And Avatar is expected to break the resistance of Oscar voters and be one of the first sci-fi movies to be nominated for Best Picture. The track record so far is very good after being nominated for four Golden Globes and nine Critics' Choice. And now let's talk about the three brother chickmunks, Alvin, Theodore and Simon. I got to sit down with them as they have a new sequel in theaters for a very unique interview between human and chip. Monks. Five, take one. Simon, does this make my butt look smaller? How are you guys doing? Fine. What's the most challenging aspect of movie stardom? You mean besides putting up with Alvin? Uh, have things changed since you've become movie stars? Alvin still pretty much hogs the spotlight. <laughs> Very funny, Simon. It's that time of year again, so tell me, what's your favorite holiday memory? Starring in the Squeakwell! Congratulations on the world's first Squeakquel. The title was my idea. Squeakquels go great with buckets of popcorn. <laughs> We're all about innovation. Thank you, guys. Hope to see you soon in the, how should we call it? Threequel? Yay! <laughs> Although no official word is out yet, it is believed that Fox Studios will continue to produce a third sequel in the franchise of the Chipmunks to be in theaters in 2011. And that's all for entertainment for this week, our last edition for 2009. As always, a pleasure connecting you to Hollywood. From the Avatar premiere at the Chinese Theater, I'm Ron Jacobson. Happy holidays!